what we looked at in the last tutorial was creating a frame and that's a code for it. I've changed the name from instance to f just to make it a little bit simpler. And so what we're going to look at is adding components to this frame. Now a frame is a container. What you have is containers and components. Now a component um, gets added to containers. Containers don't get added to components. At least I don't think it doesn't make sense but it does. Um, you never know with programmers. <laughs> Sometimes there's ways around things but why would you want to do that? Right, so but a frame is a window, it's a different kind of container than other containers. And the reason for that, if we look at Eclipse, um, this here is a window, that's a frame. It holds all these things inside here. Now, each one of these in the toolbar is a component, a separate component. Now, each one of these is a component, um, but each one these components are all stored in different um, containers. So a frame is a container that container that holds other containers. Um, so you can have more than one container inside the frame and each one will be positioned differently. And if you look at that the program that's in screen, it's been it's not looks good to me anyway. It's been designed, someone's put a lot of thought into it. And so they've had to decide how this layout was going to go and how it was going to look to the user. And would it be like, would it be easy to use? No, that you could design something that makes it more difficult than it should be to, to use a program. Well, this is quite easy and straightforward. Well, a lot of design went into it. Each container has its own manager um, layout, layout manager it is. And so you can set out the things different in each container. You'll have different containers in a frame. Now, so you don't add buttons to frames or components to frames. You can, and I'll show you that you can do this quickly. JB and JB equals new JB and we'll put a string in here test button just to show you when we've done the program and so we've created a frame and we've created a, a separate class instance of button now we need to add button to frame and so what we do is uh, we do the, the name the name of the class the frame is f dot add and we pass it the instance of the component we want to add and that jb now we've added a button to the frame but if you're reading this you don't read it the way you would in english german french etc from the left to the right it's actually going opposite direction so this is a button jb it's added to the frame F, with instance F from user frame. So we're going in a different direction. And so we've added a button to it. So if I save and run a program, okay, presto, we've got a button added to the frame. But that's not good programming because the frames to hold other containers. And so the way we do that is if I take this away and we use this reason why I've got this up here is because this is a container class and frames a container, paints a container and a panel is a container. Now what we're going to do is we're going to access the container and frame. So what we're going to do is uh, what we pass to this method in frame is the, the type container. So it returns a container. Container. I said pass, it doesn't pass, it actually returns a container. Returns type container. And we give it a name, so cp equals, 
and you can see that we've created an instance of the frame and we used the new keyboard because we created a new object we're not going to do that because we're not going to create a new object or frame what we're going to do is access one of frames frames uh, methods and it's called get content pane so we use it the F which we use to access the, the object we created dot get content pane is there for us and now we can just semicolon that's us accessed assigned um, we've accessed F content pane and we've called it CP it's not an instance this is just so that we can access the content pane which is the container in frame I don't know if that makes sense or not but stick with me and you'll see what happens so CP instead of F we're doing CP dot add and then we can add buttons or containers to it and we can add other frames if we wanted to so what we're going to do is create um, a JLabel We'll call it LP or whatever we want to call it. It's a new object, so and now it's JB J label constructor, and we're going to pass and semicolon. So that's us created a label, and we're going to create a button. We're going to go into these in more detail because there's lots of methods attached to these. And so, well, first I'll just add. So now we do cp.add and we'll add the label. And now, if we run the pro save and run the program, now we've added the label to the frame. But it's not added to the frame, it's added to the container inside the frame, which makes a difference. Now there's many different ways of doing this. We could have created a, a frame and added them to the frame. Um, so, but this is, I just want to show you so that you, you can see this in a textbook. And if you've not seen it before and you're new to programming, it can make the difference between you understanding something and not understanding something. Or it can make the difference between that you want to continue with the programme or or maybe giving up on the programme language because you know, every time you look at a different textbook it does it a different way it's not good that way, there's many different ways of doing the same thing which actually is a good thing but it's bad if you want to to learn something and grasp um, the programming language you know, it's like you just learn something and it's then you see it and it's a totally different way of doing it, it can actually put you off I think so anyway. So so that's us added a, a label to the <coughs> the frame using the content print. But we can actually add frames to it and so you may say to yourself, uh, why would we why would we want to um add um different um, dif different containers to a frame well by default um, a frame certain layout manager and a panel has a different layout manager and so so you can manipulate what kind of what kind of um, container you're using but also that you can have different containers um, in a frame and each one can have a different layout manager and so you end up with a, maybe a better um, application <coughs> so so that's the reason why we're going to go, go into layout managers and we're going to go into listeners and events and so that when we do a button or something that people can actually get it to do something 